Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday evening uh, and the NFL playoffs started this weekend and I thought rather than sitting on the sofa and watching them, I'd actually load up Zwift and do the Tour de Zwift stage two whilst watching it on the screen at the same time. Thought I'd just try and get it done. A casual ride around, nothing too stressful, in a, an easy gear and just poodle around whilst the, uh, whilst the game is on. So gonna jump on get that one sorted tick the first one off i'll have to do the catch up for for the first stage that i've missed but uh yeah gonna get on the bike oh i forgot uh how long that innsbruck climb is <laughs> it's been, i've never done that i don't think on my own it's always been as part of a, a bandy group ride or a workout so really pleased that i did jump on got some more miles in the legs um and i did it whilst i was just watching the nfl game so it's just a chance to tip the legs over at a nice slow-ish pace you'll see along the bottom I tried my hardest to stay in sort of blue zone went up to the green zone a bit but tried to stay as consistent as I, as I could uh, and I think I achieved that I'm quite pleased uh, legs are feeling a little bit today but not too bad today is Monday I have got a delivery so I realized with all the outdoor riding that I've got to planned for but also got the uh, 20th March when we're going to Goodwood to do our T2.5 meetup that I don't have any clothes jerseys to wear I, I wear just t-shirts on the bike inside uh, I do wear bib shorts but I, I have two pairs of bib shorts one is pretty much falling apart and I don't want to wear outside uh, the second one I a little bit too small and it's something I've always struggled with is to find cycling stuff that will fit me I've probably got some stuff in the cupboard, but I don't know whether it'll fit me in. It's really old stuff. And I used to try and find cheap stuff because that's all I could afford when I was riding back before. So I, I kind of haven't got a very good selection of, of clothes. But also, as I said, it's really difficult to find stuff. So if you look, I was looking at 4XL, 5XL stuff, it would still come and it would be just too small. And that's bigger than what I wear in normal t shirt um, day in, day out anyway. So. I thought I'd give a go. I've put in an order from Fat Lad at the back. They seem to be designed more about the bigger riders. I have seen people out and about back when I used to ride outside in events and things um, wearing uh, their stuff. So I thought I'll put an order in it and see how it goes. I ended up having to measure myself, my chest and my waist and stuff with a piece of string uh, and then measure the string. So I don't know if these are gonna fit to be honest. Um, but also I've gone on the slightly smaller side because I know that I'm going to be losing a bit of weight. I know I'm going to be losing some weight. It's going to happen. So they might not fit perfectly right now, but hopefully in a couple of months where I'm going outside, they will. But let's get it open and have a look. So I went for, uh, I think this is a uh, long sleeve, uh, high vis is that green or yellow I don't know uh, I don't even know if the camera will pick it up as the same colour as what I've got it in my hand but I went for I think that's long sleeve and then a short sleeve uh, sort of high vis as well not that's not as reflective quite clearly but it's sort of an orange shade and stuff uh, as well some new bib shorts which I'll have to try on and see if they fit okay I, I don't know how good their stuff is I should have done some more review, uh, looking at reviews and stuff uh, and also I've, I've never bought cycling socks before so some orange socks to go with that orange jersey I'm gonna go and try them on keep your fingers crossed that they fit Ta -da! do you know what that fits that's not too bad it's probably very very slightly on the small side but I'm sure in the next couple of weeks that will fit quite comfortably I've got the uh, bib shorts on as well they are perfect really really good um, and also what I found with the ones that I've sometimes ride on the indoor bike they fit round me but they actually pull pull me down just the the stretch in the arms and I guess it's because it's stretching around my belly and, and everywhere else that it doesn't stretch upwards as well. But I must say, these are very comfortable. I, I'll have to obviously test out the, the padding on the bike and stuff, but super pleased. Something now to wear outside when I go out on the bike. I'll try the, uh, the bright greeny one on as well, 
make sure that fits but it's the same size so I'm sure it will so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, I did toy with the idea of jumping on tonight just to have a ride if these fit see how I feel but it is a bit late it's about half past 10 now so I'm not going to I'll jump on at some point tomorrow. Um, I might even try and do if I've got time and work permits I might try and get on during the day tomorrow but we've also got the Tuesday trundle tomorrow night so let's see how that goes but I will see you at some point tomorrow for some form of bike ride I'll see you then it is Thursday and uh, I didn't get to do this earlier in the day but I, I realized I was gonna jump on but I realized that Tour de uh, Zwift stage 3 started today I just had a very quick look through and uh, the short course is the Miyokyo crit course which I've never done not with a badge because I've not joined one of their races so I thought, before doing the Tuesday Trundle, it's seven o'clock now, Tuesday Trundle starts at 7.30. I think I've just about got enough time to get round and get this one ticked off too. Huge group of people in these rides, as usual with the tours, the Zwift events. And I just, I don't think it's too easy. We're not going too crazy, as you can see, testing out the new kit. I'm not sure <laughs> the orange is a bit, in your face isn't it i can really see myself on the screen um but yeah just seeing how it fits how it feels and uh take the first look around this uh Crit city course which i've not done yet so let's get going so each of these laps is about must be about three and a half kilometers doing three laps in total pretty flat as i understand it and i can imagine that uh, with so many people, by the time we kind of get round a lap, there's going to be riders all over the course. So you're going to always be in a draft. This is not, I'm sure the, the stronger riders will be coming round to the back of the group pretty rapidly. I don't quite know. I didn't do any research before to see where it went. I'm assuming it's going to turn left up here and head down towards that little park area with the windy roads through the park and that'll be the little loop quite cool so far I just the one thing about Neokyo I love Neokyo and the uh, the look and feel when you're riding around but the one thing is I really struggle to understand where I am when I'm riding around this uh, not so much the, um, well, if we talk about both Mercury Islands, the other side, the Amezi part, kind of no, but this one has so many inter intertwined routes and uh, roads. I just don't know where I am. I don't know, you know, Watopia, like the back of my hand. I'm not even convinced I'll ever get to know this one fully. Maybe I will, but every. Whilst it's got its interesting parts, some of it is pretty samey. You know, when you're in a built up city centre with glowing lights. That's not to say I don't like it, because I do, I think it's really good. And I definitely need to explore more. I've been up onto the higher level once before in another ride. Something I need to do more of, especially if they're gonna start adding additional uh, rides and routes as they continue to do every update to the uh, the whole island itself. So yeah, and this is going all right. We've got uh, 9.4 kilometers done, over half of the first lap already. I love sitting in with so much draft. And uh, yeah, just getting a nice steady pace done. I'm gonna try and level out my power if I can, like I did in the last ride, because not doing the workouts at the moment it's clearly going to have an effect on my consistency which is one of the problems I've got so in these rides that I choose to jump on and do it I think I'm going to have to try and aim for to, to build up that consistency myself I might even throw in the odd workout here or there and I'll, I'll go back to that workout in the future as well at some point when I want to tick off the uh, Tour of Zwift, Tour de Zwift, and uh, 
we've got uh, our races coming up on Sundays as well. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering for a minute and uh, get some more kilometres done. And over the lines we get the uh, the root badge. That's a nice little lap, that. I think the part of it I missed because I was typing a text message, but uh, yeah, nice little route. I'm going to see how that's quite good fun for grit races. And I'm hoping as a group and a club, we'll get access to these event only routes so we can do them as part of the uh, T2.5 rides, which will, uh, which will be awesome because there's the other crit city course and a few others that are event only that would be good to to, to put into our ride schedule and the ability to do them and um, just give the chance to maybe other people to tick them off as well if they don't feel comfortable joining the races that are using those courses so fingers crossed for the near future <laughs> There comes a big group through there then. That must be the uh, the guys at the front coming around for the first time. Yeah, I've done a, a lot more 11.4 kilometers compared to 7.5. So they're coming around to do their next lap. We'll finish very shortly. We've got one more to go. And I know it's not a race. I'm just enjoying the ride, to be honest. A little group here I've sat in with doing a similar pace. I've had to put a little bit of oomphine every now and again to keep up, but nothing that's not manageable. All right, well, that's that route done. Really enjoyed that. I like that route because the other Crit City, I think, if I remember rightly, Crit City route has got a bit of a, a hump in it, a hill. It's quite nice to have a, a completely flat one. I really enjoyed that as a route. I'm hoping we get access to it soon. Not too bad, just over 20 minutes riding. Got those three laps done. It's 25 past seven, so I'm gonna jump over to our group ride and I'll catch you after. I thought I'd treat you to see me glowing in the fluorescent green as well. This one fits quite well as well, long sleeves. Um, yeah, I'll talk about those in a second. Group ride tonight, great fun, awesome chat on Discord again. I wanna say a huge thanks to Craig for jumping in and leading the ride. Slightly down on numbers from last week, but still a great group ride. And what is awesome is we stuck together as a big group. Uh, and I think it's just a combination of us leading rides better and people getting used to riding in bunches and in groups. But yeah, awesome ride. I think it'd be slightly different on a hillier route. Uh, we've picked flat routes for the last couple of weeks, but really enjoyed that. And as you saw, I jumped on before and got the uh, the badge for the crit circuit in Yokio as well. So two, two separate rides done tonight. I'm really happy getting some upping the riding again this year. Um, talking about the tops then, so this is a slightly, this is longer sleeves, this is slightly thicker. And I quickly checked my order and it was, uh, it's called a, a mid, a mid weight top. It has a slightly different feel to it. This will be for the, the colder months, but there's a weird difference. They're both the same size. I ordered them both in the same size, but this one is definitely a lot longer than the other one. So the one I was riding a minute ago, it did keep riding up my back. Um, I guess that's probably the, the pressure around my waist is pulling it up my back. Um, this is longer though, because I can pull it further down my body. So I don't know how different that will feel when riding. I don't particularly want to ride this one indoors because I might get a little bit warm. But the um, padded bib shorts, slightly less padding I think than my other shorts that I've got. But really, really comfortable. The fit around the shoulders and the rest of the body, they actually come up quite high on my stomach uh, and it's really, really comfortable. So I'm really pleased I bought those. They, they weren't cheap, um, but I feel like I bought some quality stuff and, you know, we'll see what they're like on the wear and tear over time. But um, yeah, I've been pretty pleased with it so far. So I'll be keeping an eye out on their website to see what other things I could possibly go, uh, buy as I shrink in size. No, not fingers crossed as I definitely shrink in size. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. We've got some great rides coming up this week. So we've got Thursday night, which is our normal race night. That's where the A's, B's, C's and D's go off at slightly different times. The D's first, the C's a minute behind, etc., etc. Bit of a chase race, uh, and it makes some great bunching finishing at the end. 
So uh, yeah, come along to that one. It's great fun, that race. We have our Saturday, just casual group ride on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. UK time. That's banded ride, so it keeps us all together. And we jump onto Discord for a chat. And then we start our tour of Yorkshire on Sunday. Um, <clears throat> that The links will be in the description below for all of these. The tour of Yorkshire, we are doing all five courses of Yorkshire. Some of them have got multiple laps. Um, in fact, I'll put the, the ride schedule on the screen now. Um, some of those are multiple laps, starting off with a slightly shorter one this weekend. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll set up those rides uh, as I do in normal rides. You just click on the link and sign up to your category for this one. Uh, we don't do the category segregation for our other, other race, but we will do for these ones. So come along to that, earn some points, and at the end of the five weeks, we'll see who's got the most points and, and put together a leaderboard which should be really really exciting i'm looking forward to it i do have a bit of a problem uh, as i mentioned i watched the nfl games uh at the weekend the packers which is my team actually got a first round bye in the playoffs because they finished as the number one seed uh, and going into that last weekend we didn't know when the games were due to be played our game has been picked for about quarter past one in the morning on sunday morning being able to make the ride at nine o'clock after watching a game, because I will stay up to watch it, uh, after watching the game for three and a half, four hours, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make that first ride, but I'll do my best. Let's see how it goes. But I will try and make up some points in the following weeks, if I can in any way. Um, but that is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like, subscribe, all of that sort of stuff, and I'll see you on the next one.